Okay, second call of the day, we're working on a commercial hot water tank. I think it might be a lock and bar. That's Bradford White. But he says he's having problems with, you know, he comes in, resets it, and fires right up. So, I'll show you what's happening. So I got my analyzer on there. So we're going to start up. Yeah, we'll just rest that right there. But watch what happens. So we're firing. And I started feeling here. And I give it a second. Okay, we just hit high fire, it's a slow opening valve. I mean, it's, it's firing, but... Look at my hand, it's filled with condensation, it's not venting at all. It's running good, but it's not venting. Look at the condensation. This was dry just 30 seconds ago. So this thing is venting into here. So what happens is, you see all the rust? All the rust everywhere? This has been going on for a while. And what happens is, is it's venting in here. It doesn't have enough oxygen to burn. See our oxygen is way low. Let me open up the door here and see if that will help. See my parts per million where it was going up. Get enough oxygen. It's venting poorly. Look at that. Look at the CO just rise. And it's venting right here in the space. Wow. Okay, let's go on the roof. Well, this is what I found. There's our stack and some one that had a bright idea decided to put a gooseneck on there on a natural draft appliance I don't know if that's the whole part of it but we're gonna get this off there nope sorry that wasn't the right one that was air intake combustion air but if you look down the thing is plugged solid with something there's something way down there and it's plugged so let me get that one off Let's see what's going on. Okay, if you look down my flue, I'm clear. So, that's my air intake for the room. That's my, that's my, uh, make, uh, not makeup air, combustion air. Uh, so that's the air into the room. That was, they had a, a jug or something plugged up in it. And when the second time I started after I took the video and I let it sit there, I let the analyzer sit in there for a, a little bit, we got 1,500 parts per million coming off that heater because it's not venting. And we got some negative pressure issues in this in this restaurant with this natural draft appliance. When I start the unit up with everything the way it is and the door is closed, I start getting a lot of carbon monoxide spillage. Um, then I open the door and it lessens it a little, but then when I open the back door of the building, then the damn thing starts to draft. So, what has to be done is, uh, 
this is good, but I got to redo some venting downstairs. Um, so let me get the cap on and I'll show you what I found on the analyzer. Um, it's on how the, the exhaust fan, these two, three exhaust fans are overcoming the draft and not allowing it to vent. And what happens is the room is so small, it gets to a certain point of we got too much flue gas in the room and the thing shuts right down. So let me get to that. I'll let me get this back together and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, there's our combustion air right there. And they had this pump sprayer like that. So what I'll do is I'll get this thing started up and you'll you'll see on the analyzer what I'm talking about. So I'll start it up. This is how they had it. They got a lever in the door there. That was plugged up. And um, yeah, everything is the way it is. I mean, we got a lot of rust because it's been going on forever. So what I'll do is we'll get it started up and uh, I'll show you the difference on when this door is open, when that's out, and when the back door is open to the building. And what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to attach this flue right to the heater, get rid of this vent damper, and uh, put a barometric damper in to control my draft. So that's what's got to happen, and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, it just lit up. It's going to go to high fire. Right now it's spilling. I can just feel it spill. We're in high fire now. My oxygen's dropping. If I don't have enough oxygen, I'm going to burn rich. Watch. It takes a few minutes for the flue gas to perm well, like fill up the room and then my oxygen dives. takes a minute or so. Still spilling really good. Starting to get starting to get condensation right here. So now we're at see the oxygen is starting to go down. There it is. Watch my carbon monoxide. I'm going to keep it firing, and then what I'll do is I'll open up this door and I'll open up the back door of the building. Alright, now we got all the, exa you know, all the kitchen exhaust fans on. I got the door open. My combustion air right there is open. And it's running like a champ now.
so what's got to be done is I got to put a barometric damper in. I got to bring this up straight, or a barometric damper or a power venter. I got to bring this up straight to a T and T over to my uh, stack right there. Put a barometric damper on the end cap with a stopper. So on negative draft or negative pressure in the building, I will prevent from opening that up and drafting, down drafting. So I and I got to take this, get rid of this damper, and take this right down to here and connect it to connect it to the water heater itself. So that's what's got to be done on this one and when I come out and do the repair I'll take another video but this is the effects of negative pressure on natural draft water heaters is that that seal will go through the roof if it's in negative pressure because it won't vent because it's not drafting and it's shielding all the flue gas from actually venting so it just spills out in the area in this small area which is six by six and a half by six and it's spilling in this area and the oxygen content just drops down to nothing it's not going to burn it's not going to run right so um, that's it for this one until i get back and actually do the repair on it thanks guys like and subscribe